This used to be an office. Don't you have enough cases to get on without getting on mine? Okay, I clean it, all right? It's not just this place, Reuben. It's your whole act. Starting now. Thank you for coming over, Cass. Sure. I know you have your hands full. Well, I can't stay long, but you said it was important. How's Felicia? She's scared, depressed. Uh, this murder charge has really knocked the wind out of her. Well, I won't keep you very long. I think I found something that no one else is supposed to see. Something to do with Felicia's case? I don't know, but it has to do with Jason and Iris. Amanda, you look wonderful. Come on in. Thank you. Here, let me take your coat. Well, I'm so delighted you made an appointment to see me. Well, it seemed to be the only way that I'd be able to talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I haven't had time for anything except damage control since the shooting. You know, it was bad enough that Jason Frame was shot at a Brava party, but that Felicia was involved. The I last thing just... that I want to talk about is Jason Frame, Iris. Oh, well, certainly. What do you want to talk about? The video match story? Oh, listen, you know what? I just remembered. You'll have to make about a million changes. I want to know why you lied to Evan. What? You told him that my mother murdered Janice Frame in cold blood. I want to know why. Okay, Professor, start your lecture, man. We live together. We work together. There has to be some ground rules both here and where we live. Start... Start with what? What is this stuff still doing here? You should have been at the courthouse two hours ago. Don't I get a lunch break, man? Later. Go, now. What, are you supposed to be my keeper or something, Look, get man? these downtown. They're late. No, I didn't come down here to be your 24-hour service messenger. You didn't come down here at all. The judge sent you, remember? How could I forget it? And come right back. We have to finish. Finish what? Talking about this situation. My place. You left it a mess this morning. Oh, Am I supposed to be your maid, too? No, and I'm not supposed to be yours. But I'm picking up your wet towels and cleaning up spilled coffee. Oh, are you mad at me? Oh, you're very observant. I thought something was good happening, man. Hey, they got to get a hell of a lot better. Yeah. And yeah, you know something? Maybe working with you and living with you ain't so good either. Oh, hello. Hi. You, you are beautiful. How you doing? My name is, uh... My name's Reuben Lawrence. Julianne. Um, do you have a minute? No. Well, maybe you could make one. Ah, uh, I'm here to see my brother. Y you guys grew up together? Sure did. Well, baby, you got my sympathies. Goodbye, Reuben. Um, it was, it was really nice meeting yeah, you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> must be an important visit for it to bring you all the way from Brava in the middle of the afternoon. It is. I need to talk to you. Do you have a minute? Sure. It's about Rick. Of course, I was shocked when I read about Mr. Frame's unhappy end. We understand you had business dealings with him during the week he died. We discussed a loan. How much did Mr. Frame request? Oh, I'm not at liberty to disclose the amount. Well, we want to see his records. Sorry, those records are confidential. This grants us access, Mr. Brigham. Uh, it's a warrant. So it is. All right. He wanted $250,000 to save his farm. But he never got beyond the preliminary stages. We want to see his records. I will show you all we have.
This is a long shot, Rick. Well, at least it's a shot. We know Jason's been making several large deposits in the past few months. Maybe this will indicate who's been handing him that kind of money. Well, the DA's hoping it's Felicia Gallant, and if she's being blackmailed, to, it's a pretty good motive. Well, whoever's been paying Jason off has a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. This is everything we've got. Statements. The computerized printout shows his deposits and withdrawals. Those are canceled checks and copies of checks he deposits. Well, 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 what do you know? Look uh, at this. Payments came from Iowa's Wheeler. Take a look at this. It's a copy of the spa contract with Frame Construction. We canceled this. Not before Jason Frame had been given a bonus of $10,000 in advance. A bonus? Who signed this? Iris. Why? That's what I'd like to know. You think it was a bribe? It could be. Have you asked Iris about this? She says it was an incentive, just business. I find that doesn't make any sense. That's a rather large amount of money for just a business incentive. Rather. Did you tell Mac about it? I can't. It's too delicate a situation. Iris is his daughter. I need more concrete proof before I want to involve him in this. That's why I wanted to talk to you about it. I take it there's more. Nothing concrete. Just a feeling I have about Iris. What do you mean? She's been different since Jason died. Different how? Tense, edgy. I've seen her like this before. You think she's hiding something? Yes, I do. I also think she's doing everything she can to make Felicia look guilty. Such as? Such as leaking the manuscript of Felicia's book to the press. She did that? Who else could do it? She knew the connection the press would make between the plot of the book and what happened to Jason. Oh, boy, yeah, and the tabloids have really had a field day with this. They've drawn all sorts of sick parallels. It really upset Felicia. I'm sure it did. Meanwhile, Iris is going around assuring everyone that she isn't going to capitalize on this tragedy. She also made a statement to the press, right? Yeah, right at the courthouse. After the bail hearing, I couldn't believe it. I think it's time that I had a talk with Iris. Don't expect any straight answers. I'll play her carefully. Cass, when it comes to deception, she's a master. What on earth are you talking about? Evan said that he got his information from you. You told him that Janice and Daddy were happily married until my mother came and broke them up. What? Just the opposite is true, and you know it. Janice was the one. Janice did everything to break up my parents' marriage. All she wanted was Daddy's money. She ended up marrying him and then trying to poison him. Well, I, I know that. Janice was a very disturbed woman. Don't tell me that. Tell Evan. Daddy wouldn't even be alive today if it wasn't for my mother. Of course, Evan just got his facts mixed up. I hope that's all it was. Well, of course that's all it was. Goodness, I mean, Evan and I only had one conversation about the subject. Evan wanted to know why Jason hated the Corys so much. And you filled him in, right? Amanda. Well, Rachel and I have never got along. I've never made any secret about that. Evan knew that. He probably inferred that it was murder. Amanda, your... Well, your mother did... She did stab Janice to death. The knife was Janice's. It was self-defense. Well, I know that. Evan obviously misunderstood. Well, I hope you're right. Of course I'm right. Listen, I wouldn't lie about a thing like that. It would only get back to my family. It would hurt you and it would hurt Daddy. Well, I hope so. Trust me. I'm going to straighten this out with Evan right now. Yes, Iris Wheeler. Y yes, she's right here. Just one moment, please. It's for you. Hello. Yes, this is she. Of course, I'm definitely interested. When? All right, I'll be there. Is everything all right? Yes, fine. Uh, it was one of my sources for video match. Something may be breaking today. I've got to go. Listen, uh, I'm sorry we haven't got time to straighten this out. Oh, we'll talk about this later. Oh, In I detail. Hope, I hope so. I don't want anything to come between us, Amanda.
Hey, where's Amanda going in such a hurry? She didn't bother to say, huh? What the hell do you think you're doing? How could you be so stupid? 